talk about the Utah Jazz here. The question is, should they trade Donovan Mitchell? So to set the scene here, they already shipped out Rudy Gobert for four players and uh, four first round draft picks. I look at this situation and I said, OK, they couldn't get it done with Rudy Gobert, who's a great piece to build around. You got Donovan Mitchell already on the roster. You get rid of Gobert. Now you're going to have to go and use those picks or make some moves or whatever. I always felt that they were still one player away when they had those two guys. Now they're at least two players away. I, I just don't see the benefit in an organization holding on to that piece where you already know you're in rebuild mode. Like, let him go. It's time to probably move him on. I think it's time to move him on. But here's the issue that you have if you have Utah Jazz now. After the Rudy Gobert trade, that's what has the market frozen, right? There's, there's teams out there like, they had to give up what for Rudy Gobert? And so now if you're the Brooklyn Nets, you're the priority with Kevin Durant. And then the second person under that is Kyrie Irving. What happens to him? And then if you're the Jazz, then it's Donovan Mitchell. So you can't even try to move a Donovan Mitchell until those other dominoes fall. I think you can. I, I think that it's getting to a point where the Kevin Durant thing is either going to take a lot of time or it's, it's going to come under value. I think if you're realistic about what you should get in return for a Donovan Mitchell and also not get greedy because you got an absolute haul for a Rudy Gobert, you could make that move happen. So I think regardless of what the market forces are, put that thing out there because you have to make that move, in my opinion. I, I, I just don't think the league will move. Uh, their teams won't. Teams who will want who will be in on Donovan Mitchell will likely be in on Kevin Durant first before you go to the Donovan Mitchell ring. Yeah, I think that they it all depends on the capital. Like I'd love to buy a million dollar house, but I'm gonna have to buy something a little cheaper first.